Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, aka Our Tarot, and I'm here to give you your weekly reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what is coming towards you guys this upcoming week. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Taurus, as you all know, these readings are for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, guys, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the rules as need be. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. And if you guys want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's going on with you guys here. We're going to get your overall message from the Energy Oracle deck, and then we're going to move on to the Grand Lux Tarot. Okay, let's see. Here. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the overall message here for Taurus? What? Oh, okay, There's, your cards really want to talk. Community, Reconciliation, Celebration, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, the third chakra, Archangel Chamuel, and then Patience, the six, number 16, okay? All righty, Taurus, so you're definitely dealing with, hang on, guys. Sorry. Okay, so you're definitely dealing with some type of reconciliation this upcoming week. Um, with your third chakra here, um... You're dealing with your solar plexus, okay? So there's something about you <clears throat> working on your chakras, start opening up your chakras, <clears throat> leveling out your chakras. <clears throat> and then you got the patience card here, number 16. So you've been very patient in regards to a situation here um, with somebody that you've been dealing with. Um, your emotions have been kind of running high. You're kind of in this in this mind, in this mind frame, um, state of mind where you're not sure if you want to reconcile, should you reconcile, should you call them, should you not call them type of thing. But I think overall, at the end of the day, Pisces, I mean, Pisces, Taurus, you may be dealing with a Pisces. Um, uh, Taurus, um, you have, you, you've been very patient with the situation and you guys are going to get ready to reach out. Okay. Let's see here. What is, okay. You see how your guys' cards are just flying everywhere? Look at the fool. There's going to be a leap of faith, Taurus. You may be taking a leap of faith towards somebody or someone's going to be taking a leap of faith towards you to attempt this connection once again. Let's see here. One. The, you got the nine of swords in the reverse, okay? So somebody wants to come out of this extreme torment. They want to heal a connection. They want they want some relief from some type of torment here. Um, they want to recover. They want to recover a situation here. Yep, somebody that you're currently in separation with, someone that you see as your soulmate here, Taurus, there's going to be some type of reconciliation here with you and someone. Um, let's see here. What else, universe? Wow, your cards are just trying to pop out hangman, okay? You're becoming unstuck. You're starting to realize here that what it is that you want in this connection. And I feel for a lot of you guys, you're going to be moving towards somebody. You're going to be communicating with someone that you haven't been communicating in a while with or someone that's just been on your mind. With the nine of wands, you don't want to give up on this connection. With the six of wands here, you want you want some victory, okay? There, there wasn't victory between you and this person in the past, but you do want some type of victory with them now and moving forward. What else? Ace of Pentacles, you want to offer some stability. And with the Knight of Swords, this, this, this reconciliation or this communication may seem a little bit reckless because you're just going to end up, <clears throat> excuse me, you're, I feel that like you're either just going to end up texting them out of nowhere or calling them out of nowhere or vice versa. Your person's going to be doing that to you. But definitely there's going to be an offer made here of stability, reconciliation, Seven of Cups in the reverse. Someone is no longer confused. Ten of Coins here. Somebody wants to achieve stability with the devil in the reverse. Somebody wants to recover something. Somebody wants to leave whatever's in the past in the past and move on. They want to heal this connection. Somebody is sad with the with without the other person and they want to achieve happiness. Okay? You definitely want to achieve some happiness here with your person, Taurus. What else, universe? So either you... Oh, my God. Look at... The three of cups and you got this I these nails guys next video you see me I ain't gonna have no nails okay 
you got the seven here, which is community, and you got the three of cups here. There's a reconciliation happening, guys. No ifs, ands, or buts, okay? You're reconciling with someone. And again, I feel you may even be reconciling with a, with a Pisces here, okay? But there is some disconnect here between you and this person, and there's just going to be some forward movement. Look at judgment, okay? Someone's going to get ready to make a judgment call, get some clarity, make a final decision and reach out to their person with the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody is wanting to put the work into the connection. Somebody wants to rebuild. Okay. Someone wants the opportunity to repair what has been broken. What else universe? What else? What else for my Taurus's universe? Let's see here with the moon. Okay, there's there's some there's something that you really want to tell your person or your person wants to tell you, but I feel overall this communication that's going to be had between you and them, I feel that somebody's going to confess that they're truly still honestly in love with them, okay? They still want an opportunity to recover this situation, okay? I don't feel that someone's holding secrets back that's going to hurt the connection. I just feel they're holding secrets back from disclosing their true feelings here with the king of pentacles someone's coming in very stable with the magician somebody's been manifesting someone's return with the hermit you've been really thinking about this for a long time you may have even, even turned your back on this person because there was just too much going on here with the with the with the queen of swords in the reverse and you got tired of the going back and forth you got tired of the bickering so you decided to turn your back on this connection but has as time has passed in this hermit mode, you have come to realize that you're truly still in love with this person and you want the opportunity to rebuild. With the six of coins here, somebody wants to have um, an equal give and take, okay? With the nine, nine of wands here, somebody is prepared to come in passionately out of nowhere and disclose that they're truly still in love with this person. With the death in the reverse, someone is wanting to release this stagnation. They want to release this, this hope of fear, um, hope of fear, this fear of, of losing someone, okay, they want to, they want the hope to be able to come back, they just want things to change is what I'm getting here, okay, and I feel that that's going to be the basis of this conversation with the strength card, somebody's coming in very strong with the high priestess in the reverse, one of you guys is going to think that the other one is still lying, okay, that the other one is still keeping secrets, so don't, don't, what I'm getting with this card here is, I know there was mistakes made in the past, guys, okay? And we all make them, okay? Don't hold on to those past mistakes. Don't block the, the possibility of this reconciliation, okay? Because with the seven of swords in the reverse, I feel that someone has changed, okay? Someone is coming in here in a different, in a different light, in a different with a different attitude. I'm just hearing someone's coming in here very mature and they're wanting to make amends with you. They want the opportunity to continue moving this connection forward. With the Empress here, this person wants to take this connection to a higher level of commitment, okay? This person sees you as wife material, as husband material. Whoever it is that's going to get ready to reach out this upcoming week is going to communicate the fact that they're tired of this Eight of Swords being without you. They're tired of constantly being stuck in their head. You may even be communicating the same thing to your person. But overall, at the end of the day, somebody wants to balance out this connection and they want reconciliation. So there is going to be a conversation here that's going to clear the air between you and your person. And it's going to give you guys the possibility to reconcile. Okay. All right, guys, I hope this reading gave you some clarity. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you guys want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I will talk to you soon. Bye.